Our team at Magic Indicator Strategies just found a brand new indicator on TradingView that we truly believe is genius. This indicator will provide you with so much more information about price action you otherwise would have missed. Let's put it this way. Imagine if you could see every candlestick from a lower time frame inside a higher time frame candle. No more switching between time frames and guessing. With this tool, you'll save yourself so much time and effort. Moreover, in this video, we will give you a blueprint on how to turn this magic indicator into a profitable trading strategy, which will put you miles ahead of your competition. Are you ready? If so, hit that like button and subscribe to our fast-growing channel. Without further ado, let's start the tutorial. It's worth mentioning that this technical analysis indicator can be used for trading cryptocurrencies, stocks, and forex. It is also effective for options trading. However, you should remember that trading options involves higher risk. That's why I recommend following the guidance of a professional. Easy Options Live Trading is an excellent service that gives you the opportunity to follow the lead of a pro options trader who gets a consistent 80% plus win rate. Yes, you heard that right. His signals are highly accurate and the process is very simple. The only thing you need to do is attend daily live streams during market open and enter and exit trades along with Winger in real time. In addition, you'll learn high win rate strategies that will serve you for a lifetime. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. To add this indicator to your chart, simply log in to your TradingView account and open any chart. Currently, I am viewing the ETH USDT price chart on the one hour time frame. Open the indicators and search for LTF Candle Insights by Zyaman. Let's thank the creator for this awesome script. So, this is how the indicator looks like. It consists of a price range in which the market has moved for the last 20 candlesticks from a lower time frame. This number can be adjusted in the indicator's settings. In the input section, you can also change the lower time frame you'd like to see on the current chart. It is recommended that we keep a gap of two to four time frames between the current and the lower time frame. By the way, in the top right corner, you can see both time frames. Another significant component of the indicator is the blue baseline. I'll show you my secret way of using this baseline to find trend continuations. Let me first demonstrate how a trend continuation looks. A market that is in an uptrend, for example, makes higher highs and higher lows. Bullish trend continuation is simply price movement to the upside after a small correction. This small correction is also known as a demand area. If you're an experienced trader, you can identify these corrections easily with the naked eye. For those of you who struggle to read price action at this level of expertise, the LTF Candle Insights indicator can be quite handy. For example, here the price makes higher highs and higher lows forming this uptrend. A new price correction has occurred. It's time to examine candlesticks in lower time frames to avoid missing a potential trend continuation. Since we're currently on the one hour time frame and the candles in the box are from 15 minutes, every new one hour candle will form four 15 minute candles. As of right now, the 15 minute candles are below the blue baseline, which indicates that there is still no evidence of bullish pressure. The moment the candles rise above the baseline, it's time to prepare to buy the security. However, you should remember that relying on this indicator alone to make trading decisions is not recommended. This is just another confluence you can use to confirm your trade entries. My recommendation is to combine this indicator with other confirmation tools that analyze price action on a deeper level. The best one I can recommend that has worked for thousands of traders is Easy Algo V10. This tool has features you won't find in regular indicators like RSI or a moving average. For example, let's access its settings and adjust them specifically for trading price action. First off, hide buy and sell signals. Enable 4-hour support and resistance levels. Hide golden pockets, candle coloring and volume profiles. Our goal is to keep the charts as simple as possible. These features will allow us to do multi-time frame price analysis and spot profitable trade opportunities unavailable to 90% of traders. 
Pay close attention as I walk you through everything step by step. Make sure to watch this tutorial again if necessary. The strategy involves buying a security when the following confluences are present. First step is to spot a major demand level the price reacts to. In this case, there is a strong 4-hour support at this price. Look at how many times this level has caused price reversals. Apparently, there are huge numbers of orders waiting to be executed. The volume in this area is very high. Once the level has been spotted, it's time to analyze the trend. In this case, we're looking for the price to form new highs and lows. To make your work even easier, this indicator automatically draws trend lines. A solid trend line means the level has not been broken. A dashed trend line, on the other hand, indicates a broken level. The more price respects the trend line, the stronger this level becomes. Our goal is to buy the security at the retest of the trend line. As for final confirmation, we will use this LTF Candle Insights indicator. Pay attention to the candles inside the box. The moment you see a large bullish candlestick above the baseline, you enter the trade. Place a stop loss below the trend line. For this strategy, you will target either the major supply level or a fixed risk reward ratio of 2 to 1. Traders, this strategy is not for beginners. I highly urge you to pause this video and analyze this long trade example carefully. OK, let's look at a short trade example. Just like with long trades, the first step is to identify a major supply level. In this case, we see that this 4-hour key level holds strong resistance. When the price approaches this level, momentum slows down. Next thing we should look for is an unbroken trend line. By the way, to make the charts even cleaner, you can disable broken trend lines. Once the trend line has been retested and the momentum slows down, it's time to analyze the lower time frame candlesticks. Our mission is to find the beginning of selling pressure. Large bearish candlesticks below the baseline are the ones to watch out for. Open a short trade once all the confluences are in place. Set the stop loss order above the trend line and target the demand level. Remember, your risk to reward ratio should be no less than 2 to 1. Traders, I hope you understand this trading strategy. Make sure you do thorough testing on a demo account first. Get used to seeing these trade opportunities instantly. Only then should you try this method on a live account. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.